My own conviction is that it is never morally right to tell a lie, never. Uh, and in difficult situations, I believe God will always give an alternative by which we can do what is right in God's sight and yet not speak falsehood. It's amazing when we search through the Bible how many times it forbids lying, speaking falsehood, bearing false witness, and so forth. There are many, many verses again and again where God tells us not to lie. Of course, we see this in the Ten Commandments, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, Exodus 20:16. But if we go to the New Testament, Paul says in Ephesians 4, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor. And we go to Colossians 3, do not lie to one another. We go back to the Old Testament wisdom literature, Job 27, my lips will not speak falsehood and my tongue will not utter deceit. Psalm 5, you destroy those who speak lies. Um, Psalm 58, the wicked are estranged from the womb they go astray from birth speaking lies. Or Proverbs 12, 22, lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who act faithfully are his delight. And that's just a few of the verses that we could look at. And my conclusion is that there are numerous, numerous biblical statements that condemn lying in the sense of verbally affirming a falsehood. And so when I talk about the question of lying, I use this definition. Lying is affirming in speech or writing something you believe to be false. Augustine, Calvin, and others in history have defined lying in a similar way. I think it's important that we recognize that uh, imitating the character of God is the basis for not lying. God never lies. In fact, Hebrews, says, Hebrews 6 says that it is impossible for God to lie. And Titus 1 says he is the unlying God or the God who never lies. God cannot lie. There are certain things that God cannot do and he cannot contradict his own moral character. And so um, he himself does not ever lie. And he wants us to imitate that moral character uh, and to speak truth. In addition, Jesus never told a lie. And um, that's another argument for the idea that we never should think that we are compelled to tell a lie. We could discuss at some length the narrative examples of lying in scripture, such as Rahab lying to the Jericho uh, soldiers to protect the spies who came to her house. But I don't think that those narrative examples overturn this conclusion that is repeated again and again and again in scripture that God uh, tells us not to lie, not to affirm a falsehood.